Absolutely insane, guys. In a beautiful downtown. What's up, everyone? Back again with yet another video. A noisy one out here in these little Havana streets. We're out here in these little Havana streets. And we're actually at a mad festival. This is dope, guys. This is dope. So this is just a Latin festival right in the heart of Little Havana. It goes on for, what, 10 blocks? 15. 15. There's 15 blocks of music and food and, yeah, this is dope. It's hot out here, but it's worth it. It's worth it to see this. This is cool. UK boys, this is pretty cool. I mean, we got St Paul's Carnival back in our city, like the Caribbean Festival, and it's kind of, but it's not on this kind of scale. And obviously that's kind of more of a Caribbean carnival. This is a Latin, Latin American thing. Absolutely insane guys. Reggaeton music, there's like stages. This goes on for 15 blocks, it just goes on at like it's endless. Latin music, culture, dope. So much good food here as well. Yeah, that's the thing guys. I do want to try the food, but I'm just not feeling like eating at the moment. It's hot, we did eat not long ago. So, I don't know if I'm going to be trying any of the food out here. Which, that kind of seems criminal considering, you know, we do like 90% foodie content on this channel, but you know, we're hitting that lifestyle for y'all. So, we're back in downtown Miami. What did you think of the festival? Oh, I loved it. Really good, great. That's a great food. Not that we tried any, but it looked and smelled amazing. We didn't, we didn't feel like eating at all. It's just too hot. We're not hungry. But that was, yeah, that was an amazing experience. We didn't stay around for too long. It was getting busy, crowded, but it was lit. That was an experience, like for the two guys from England. Yeah, it was great. To be able to go to a little Havana, see some good, a good Latin music festival. It was, it was lit. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy we went. So respect. That was your idea. Respect for yeah. that. Andre, I liked him. He was a good artist. We saw up and coming. Yeah, a guy called Dondre, that was the guy you see previously in the vlog, you come up to the camera. Yeah man, it was lit. So we're just going to the Bayside on Biscayne Bay, we're just going to have a little wander around because we are about to go to a Miami Heat game. Miami, the Miami Heat are playing the Wizards and we're going to go and check it out. So I've been to a couple of NBA games in the past, I went to one in Brooklyn, uh, one in London, but I haven't been to an M NBA game for quite a few years. So. We're definitely looking forward to it. We've got seats like a long way back, but it's still going to be lit. It's still going to be a good atmosphere. I got it, mate. I got it. I got it, mate. And by the looks of things, we've come from one lit place to another. It's actually pretty bumping down there as well. A lot of people buy music, food. Miami is lit, guys. If you've never been here, I would highly, highly recommend it if it's your type of thing. I know it's not everyone's type of thing, but I'd highly, highly recommend this place. It is dope. We just kind of wander around aimlessly below this huge Ferris wheel. And we're in, being indecisive for what we want to get to eat. Careful, man! Well, we have got some beautiful views of downtown Miami. Downtown Miami. Miami. I need to get me one of these Ram trucks one day.
take a little look at Shoe Palace first while we're here. While we're here, let's take a little look. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Mm. So here we go, we're pulling up to the famous, what once was the American Airlines Arena, now it's the K Sayer Center, I think. But here we go, guys. We're at Miami Heat game. We're out here guys, we're out here. Miami Heat, go Heat. Let's go Heat. Here we go, we're in, we're in. Through Scurry, let's go Heat. Let's go Heat. We're going to Half John's. It's very dope in there, there's a lot of food to choose from. We've got tacos, beers, margaritas, guacamole. For leaving your seat, please remember to take your ticket with you. We're out here, go heat, look we've got the red glow on our faces, we're ready to cheer on the heat guys. Go heat, let's go. Our seats are kind of in the nosebleeds, but to be honest with you, it does, it's not too far, the court is actually a pretty decent view from here, so I'm not mad. It looks further away on camera, trust me guys, when you're here, it's, it's not too far. So these, these seats were like 50 bucks, worth every penny. guys so huge anti-climax the heat lost the heat lost the game so basically this is how it went they were 10 points down with about two two and a half minutes to go to the wizards they come back from that deficit and they got within two points the wizards turned the ball over in like the last 10 seconds so the heat had a chance to score they took a three i don't remember which player took the three missed jimmy butler got the ball went for the three in the final seconds he didn't get it so we're just like 
the atmosphere was amazing at the end of the game. I'm just thinking how crazy it would have gone if he'd have hit that three on, on the final second. But it was still a good, exciting game, but it's a shame the heat lost. But in the beautiful downtown, check out these skyscrapers, guys. So, guys, finally got back to the hotel room. We had to get an Uber all the way from downtown Miami to back to South Beach, and then we had to get a trolley. We've been buying gifts to bring home to our families. Finally back in the hotel, safe and sound, from downtown Miami all the way to South Beach. We're here. It's been a long day, but it's been a good day. It's been a fun day for sure, and we're actually just getting ready to start packing our stuff because we've got to go home tomorrow, back to rainy old England, but it's all good. I'm looking forward to seeing my family, so, um, you know, Bittersweet, really. I'm happy to be going home. Def definitely can't wait to see the family. But definitely, of course, I'm sad to be leaving Miami as well. That's a wrap for Miami content. I hope you guys enjoyed all my Miami content. If you haven't seen the previous videos, please make sure you go and check them out. We've had some pretty lit times out here. And yeah, definitely want to come back to Miami in the future. Maybe I will come. I'll be able to persuade the family to come with me next time, hopefully. Maybe we'll go to a quieter part or maybe a different part of Florida. I don't know, guys, but... Love it here. It's a wrap for Miami. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video in rainy old England.